Mother's Day is next week. Let's make a yummy breakfast that the whole family can enjoy. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel where we know that true wealth is vibrant health. And that's why we get together every week in the kitchen and we create delicious and healthy recipes to support you and your loved ones living your best life. Today we're going to be making Mother's Day strawberry pancakes. Let's begin by chopping up one cup of fresh strawberries. I'm going to first slice them lengthwise and save some of the end pieces to make hearts. Do this by simply cutting out a V at the top. Then continue chopping up the rest of the strawberries. Next, to a large glass measuring cup, take one cup of your preferred nut, oat, hemp, or cow's milk. And to it, we're going to add one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice to make homemade buttermilk. Give it a stir and then set it aside. Now for our dry ingredients. To a large mixing bowl, I'm going to add in one and a half cups of your preferred gluten-free flour. I'm using Bob's Mill one-to-one -one baking flour, but use the blend that you prefer. One tablespoon of either coconut or date sugar. Our leavening agents are one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, along with one half of a teaspoon of baking soda. Last, one half of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. Whisk together your dry ingredients. Our buttermilk should be ready now. It takes about five to 10 minutes to make. And to it, we're going to add one egg and three tablespoons of your preferred oil. I'm using olive oil, but you could use avocado oil, melted coconut oil, ghee, melted butter, all of those will be really great in this recipe, just depending on what your diet requires. Whisk together your wet ingredients, and then add them to your dry ingredients. Stir just until combined. Now we are ready to fold in our cup of chopped strawberries. Grease and heat up your skillet on medium heat, and then scoop out about one quarter cup of your batter. You may need to spread it out just a little bit because our batter is thick. Cook until it's lightly browned. Once it is, place some of your strawberry hearts on top and then flip your pancake over, cooking all the way on the other side. We are ready to give these Mother's Day strawberry pancakes a taste. There's all kinds of toppings. You could add in a little bit of maple syrup, put some coconut cream, cinnamon, nuts on top, some more strawberries maybe. Even top it with almond butter would be delicious. Let's give it a taste. This is a huge stack of pancakes. That strawberry flavor is coming through. I think they are so good. And they're not super sweet, so that's great. If you don't like really sweet things, leave them just as they are. If you like to add a little bit of maple syrup, go ahead. Um, but I would imagine that any mom getting this for Mother's Day would give it a two thumbs up. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there and all of the mothers that have passed on. Um, I appreciate you being here. Take great care of yourself, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.